So we've just we've just dredged an extinct volcano just to the just to the north of East Antarctica. So just we've just come from Denman region and there's some volcano extinct volcanoes. We know that they're there, so we mapped over the top of it and it's got a beautiful flat top. It's about two and a half thousand meters deep and we just covered all of these fantastic rocks. So we know what the seafloor looks like. People think it's a boring flat expanse of boring seafloor. And actually we know from satellites mostly that there's um, all kinds of ridges and plateaus and shapes and extinct volcanoes under this. Rockridge is basically we throw this kind of chain mail iron purse off the back of the ship with open jaws and we let it get to the bottom of the sea. And when it's quite deep, sometimes two or more kilometers down, then we, the ship moves the dredge, which is on this very long winch, all the way up a slope, and then it's hauled onto the deck. So we're trying to capture the rocks that are down there. We spend a lot of time looking at the um, acoustic data that comes in from the ship. So we look, the, the ship's always mapping the seafloor in a lot of detail and it's also getting what's below the seafloor in detail as well. And so before we take a rock dredge, we spend a lot of time looking at all that data and we very, very carefully pick the spot that we want. So we often want slightly deeper spots that are a bit steeper. We don't want to hit a whole bunch of biology at all, so we're trying to avoid that. And we're also trying to get the rocks that are underneath any sort of biology or sediment. So we're looking for sort of a bare rock. So we didn't know if we were going to get anything, but it's all worked out beautifully. And we've got some beautiful big rocks and we've got some beautiful sediments. Oh my gosh, so there's these. Every rock is a surprise. <laughs> That's why it's so exciting. Yeah. And there was a pink one. Yeah, these are all fragments. Oh, it's so cool. Fragmentary, sedimentary. <laughs> this one's even got probably bedding in it. I think this could be my favourite ever rock that's come from a rock dredge because it's got three different things going on in here. You can see it's got carbonate, I don't know if you can see, but it's got shells and maybe a bit of a burrow here. And so this was when this seamount was at the surface or close to the surface, Charlie Marine. So you've got a bit of a reef go happening here, you shells. And then you've got another unit down the bottom here, you've got a sedimentary, sedimentary layer. Um, and then this is a probably, we haven't cut it open, but we think this is a volcanic rock. So this is the actual seaman itself. In terms of the targets, I think for the rocks, there's really two key aims. So one is to get rocks from volcanoes, extinct volcanoes, um, to try to understand when those volcanoes might have erupted in the past, how old they are, and whether that means that there's a, a broader volcanic field or heat anomaly in underneath the, this particular region. So this rock has been under a lot of heat and pressure and it's gone from a sedimentary rock that's formed in a basin into a metamorphic rock. The other aim is to try to get continental rocks to try to understand what's under the ice and that really complements the um, terrestrial Denman campaign that ran last year, because we're trying to understand that, you know, as, an, as a geologist, it's very difficult to get rocks from Antarctica. So one, another place we can get them is the marine environment. Antarctica is mainly ice. 97% of it is covered in ice. So we don't actually know what the geology under the ice is. One of the inputs into the ice sheet modeling is what is underneath or what is causing heat. So rocks cause heat. Uh, continental rocks with certain uranium or those sorts of radioactive minerals are going to cause more heat than others. What we are really trying to do is understand different components of what that earth is because it impacts the glacier. So the rocks that the, the glacier sit on impact the way it behaves. The heat that's coming through the crust impacts the way that glacier behaves and the more we can understand about all those features, 
helps us to understand how the, this glacier is behaving now and how it might behave in the future.